Do you think there's the possibility of a setback where or all of a sudden we're not able anymore to achieve all that we could have achieved with technology? Uh, I think that's very possible on a, uh, on a contained basis. So I think that you know, for a lot of areas, the, the, the technology can be uh, uh, democratizing, right? So more and more people will be able to use them. And, and as it becomes more ubiquitous, hopefully that means it becomes safer as well. Uh, I, I do suspect that in certain situations, and, and oftentimes it's governments that will step in to try to uh, not negate, but simply uh, control uh, a situation. And I think that, um, you know, that definitely has happened. I'm not sure that it's ever been sustainable. Right. The example that I always think about is uh, with stem cell research in the United States, and there was a policy decision made to suggest that that wouldn't happen uh, in the United States because it was uh, unethical in, in many ways. Uh, and then there's lots of uh, you know, debate on both sides of that. But the, the point is not whether that was the case. The point is that it happened anyway. Right. So <clears throat> it's, going, it's happening. And, and I think that's, uh, that's one of the realities that we all need to embrace is that uh, you know, suggesting that we will stop the, uh, the progress uh, of the technology is not practical or realistic. You know, what we need to do is find ways to uh, you know, address the concerns and hopefully you know, infuse, a, um, you know, infuse into societies and into cultures the, uh, the realization that we're the ones that manage it as individuals. And, and we, can't, uh, we can't outsource that responsibility to the governments or to the enforcement agencies or anybody else that we operate with. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be empowered that way. That's part of what the technology allows us to do. As human beings, we, sh we should have that power.